Uh, hey YouTube, what are you doing? Get down, it's the Terminator, and I'm back with another bodybuilding video for you. So stay tuned. <laughs> okay, hey guys, what's up? It's the Terminator. Um, so I was just thinking about my second video I ever made was on Phil Heath and what I believe to be his best all time shape that he ever brought to a bodybuilding stage, which was the 2010 Arnold Classic. And you know, I figured why not make a series out of this, right? There's been a lot of great bodybuilders over the years, a lot of great physiques have been presented and um, are worthy of discussion and, and showcase and review again. So, you know, why not kind of bring up some of my favorite bodybuilders uh, over the years and what I felt was their best physique, right? And you guys can voice your comments and let me know if you agree. Anyway, without further ado, this was, um, this was a show where I feel like uh, politics really played an unfortunate role in crowning the winner because... This was 2007 Mr. Olympia, I'm just going to go out and say it and kill the suspense. Because <laughs> this, uh, this year Victor Martinez looked exceptional. Alright, look at him just walking out, he already looks amazing. Trust me, he was way better than Jay this year, much better, just go look at the footage. It was highway robbery, Jay Cutler and the IPB judges should be in jail for larceny. <laughs> but look at this, look at that, let me just go back a couple frames here. Do, 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 do. Look at this front. Okay, what do you do with your eyes, man? Oh, that's a weird stare. Don't look at me like that, Victor. <laughs> but look at the arms on this guy. So full. And same with the lats. He was just, he had crazy fullness this year. He did look a, relatively soft and smooth. But keep in mind, everybody, this was 2007. And if you know anything about this period of time in bodybuilding, uh, conditioning was not really a factor. <laughs> it was not good, to say the least. Um, guys, they all tended to come in really soft and watery. Their conditioning was brutal um, in this, you know, the few years span in, in the mid 2000s. It didn't really start getting better until maybe 2009 when Jay made his comeback and came in really dry in condition. And then everyone started to kind of pay attention to it again. But for a while there, it was just all about mass, really, and fullness. And Victor really uh, embodied this to the highest degree here in this show. Not that he was terrible conditioned. He had de he had really good conditioning for the show, for the period of time he was competing. And there's an artistic shot right there. He had a number of aesthetic poses. And, you know, got to freeze it here and go back a couple frames. Look at the split in his legs here between his quads and his hands. I mean, that's this is top notch. This would fare well even by today's standards. And Victor, um, I had to point this out because he's always getting knocked on his legs, you know. People are always saying, oh, his legs aren't up to par, they're undersized, they're his weak point. And um, I would agree from the front they look undersized, uh, but not from the side. From the side they always looked, and they still look pretty good. Even from the back, when you, when you see them turn around and hit the back shots, they look really good in this show. I'm not sure if they still look that good, but right here, this looks great, right? Admittedly, his glutes are a little soft, but again, you know, as I just mentioned, 2007... No one was really very well conditioned back here in this time. And here he's hitting this pose really well, right? Like, you see he's extending his arm completely straight. He's hitting the pose properly, okay? A lot of guys these days, they bend the elbow too much, even back in the day. A lot of guys just, um, in, at this level, for whatever reason just don't seem to hit this pose very well. And I think it really just has to do with being too big. Because uh, at a certain stage, you know, if your lats are jutting out like a foot from your torso, it's going to be pretty hard to extend your arms straight down next to them, right? So, But I mean, Victor uh, was very wide in this show. And you'll see from the back shots. Um, so if he can nail this pose, I don't see why other people can't. And he's doing a great job here. You can see he's got a really good horseshoe to his tricep. Uh, he doesn't have, like, crazy mass on his triceps, um, but in this particular pose, he looks really good, I think. This is another artistic shot right here. Um, I really like this pose. You get to see the development of the, all three heads of the delts and how they kind of link up to the traps, the side of the arm. It just looks really cool, right? Like Ronnie's done this back in the day. I'm pretty sure Phil's done it and Dennis Wolf, and it just it always looks good. Anytime somebody does this pose, it should almost be like a mandatory, or more guys should try it, I think. Looks really cool. And here again is what I'm talking about. Look at these guns, man. 
those are like some fucking bazookas he's got loaded there. It's crazy fullness. And the lats, too. He just looks really good. Really good shot for Victor. Another artistic, aesthetic shot. Um, the only thing I would kind of critique here is even his arms a little bit look a little soft, but especially his back. His back's um, lacking a lot of detail. And you can see down at the lower lat there where there's a few wrinkles. And maybe that's not really fair because the way he's scrunched over there, but um, just throughout the whole middle of his back. And you'll see when he turns around his lower back, it's not as defined as I'd like to see it. But, you know, again, he still looked a million times better than Jay who beat him somehow. And again, you can see from the side his legs look really, well, not so much here, but his legs look really sharp. Yeah, Victor knows what's up. See? <laughs> He heard me. And you know, he's just gonna milk it. See how he's walking back and forth with his legs flex like that? He knows they look good from the side. Really full arms and delts. He was just super full. And great side chest. You know, I might make a series at some point. Um, and I was thinking of doing like top 10, you know, side chest poses, top 10 front lats. Um, going through all the mandatory poses and choosing like the guys who hit it the best and you know Victor might crack top, top 10 in the side chest pose because he looks really strong in it his, his physique flows well and he, he hits it very well I think he's one of the best at this particular pose see milking those the side of the legs there and this was a cool little pose he did with his lats Reminiscent of what Kai Green does, but keep in mind this was 07. This was before Kai really burst onto the stage and started dominating shows and stuff. Oh, I just wanted to go back a little bit. Look at the uh, the way he flares his lats. Really good um, V taper. And the lower body looks great. I mean, if you want to nitpick, yeah, the calves look, um, they leave something to be desired. Uh, because they look a little smooth and they're genetically just high insertions, but still better than some of his contemporaries like Dexter Jackson and Dennis Wolf. And the hamstrings and glutes look great. The back looks great. I just like, uh, you know, as I mentioned before, to see a little more crisp detail in there, it's, it looks a little watery to me, a little soft. But other than that, man, I think he really brought it this year, and there wasn't really much he could improve on. See, like, again, his some of his back shots, like his back double biceps looks pretty underwhelming compared to his front double bicep. And, you know, if you were to compare him to today's best guys, I think he'd get smoked in this shot just because he's lacking a lot of detail. But in terms of aesthetics and shape and fullness, I think he looked tremendous. And there's that V-taper I was talking about. Victor's never had a problem with width. Uh, he had a little bit of distension in his gut there. I don't know if you saw that, but for the most part, his waist looks pretty streamlined in this show. Another aesthetic shot. And look at this most muscular. Let's just go back a couple frames here. I mean, look at the fullness in his arms here. They look tremendous. He's one of the few guys, I think, that can really hit this crab most muscular uh, pose very well. Um, he's probably never hit it better than this in his career because he just brought unreal, like, surreal conditioning, right? And look at the traps, um, the shoulders, the chest. This pose, he's just filling it out properly, man. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's I guess that was his full routine there. And um, oh, he, he hits one more shot here. And you can see really good uh, separation in his quads. Again, yes, his legs are a little undersized compared to his upper body, but in my opinion, it's better to have it that way uh, than the opposite problem. When you're like when your lower body is kind of overshadowing your upper body, you tend to look a little awkward, and it, and that throws off your aestheticism more than anything. I think like guys like Tom Platts and Branch Warren, as impressive as they might be, I think their aestheticism really kind of uh, is hurt by the fact that their lower bodies are so dominant. You know, contrast that to guys like Victor and Arnold was a prime example of having an underdeveloped lower body. His legs were always seriously undersized compared to his massive uh, upper body. And yet, did that hurt his aestheticism? Not one bit, right? 
If anything, I think it enhanced it. I think guys look better when their legs are slightly undersized. And Victor's just kind of more evidence of, of that right here. And again, his midsection looks great. Everything looked really good this year. And Victor, you know, really deserved to be the victor. <laughs> Hilarious, I know. Yeah, I'm good with the puns. Anyway, so let me know what you guys think. Um, do you agree with me? Is there another show that I'm, I'm forgetting about that Vic, or, you know, it might have been overlooked that Victor looked better than this? Because I don't think there is. Correct me if I'm wrong. And that's it, guys. Peace out, homies.